Hello, I'm Rich Dean with West Coast Collector Cars in Oregon. And today, I've got a beautiful 1939 Ford half-ton pickup to show you. Now this truck, uh, you notice this grill, this grill was only available in, for two years, and that's 1938 and 1939. Uh, this being a 1939, it's the final year for this, this grill style. But I uh, wanted to show you, it's been completely restored. In fact, it's been frame off restored. But uh, let, me tell you, let me show you this paint here. This is a base coat, clear coat, black, beautiful, deep, nice everywhere. It's a beautiful truck. Everywhere you look. Uh, wheels and tires, uh, of course, these are stock rims or, you know, what the factory would have had back then. Little V8 call out here. Uh, the trim ring as well. And these are uh, a bias ply tire uh, like you would have had originally in a black wall. But all the trim and bright work, what there is of it is excellent. Uh, all the glass is nice. Notice this is a one piece windshield. 1939, this truck would have originally had a split down the middle with a piece of trim here, but uh, people seem to like this desirable, more desirable uh, one piece glass that they make for these now. This is an all metal truck, including the running boards and, and the fenders and everything. Show you the interior. Interior finished off in this nice deep red color. It's a nice velour. Very clean, fresh, all the wind lace is nice, your headliner matches and it's also got the stereo up in the headliner, as you can see. It's also got... Uh, Take you back in the interior. I should point out since we're on this side, this is an aftermarket heater, so it's got a little heater system in it, which is nice. Uh, the windshield, this uh, dial right here, does move the glass out, so it's sort of a ventilation or air conditioning, if you want to call it that. This is the antenna for your tunes and your stereo up there, mounted in the ceiling. Seat belts as well. Let me tell you about a couple of upgrades. Uh, well, check the shut lines nice and straight. Uh, this has been converted from a 6 volt to a 12 volt system. That's a nice feature. You want that. A little more stable, a little more modern. Uh, this does have its original uh, 221 V8 flathead. These flatheads run so nice. You just fire them right off and they just run nice and easy, nice and smooth. Original 3 speed transmission and original differential. So the drivetrain has been rebuilt as well as the engine uh, and it just runs so nice. It's very easy to drive. It's a very cool truck. Very nicely restored. No rust in this truck. Uh, the bed, I'm just going to wipe it off because it is black so it's going to, I'm sorry, but you're going to show dust on a black car. Uh, bed is finished off beautifully as well. Uh, this would have originally had uh, uh, bed wood in it, but uh, someone opted to do the metal floor. I guess it'd be fine if you wanted to actually haul something in it, use it. Back here, uh, this is another, you got uh, the tail lamps, of course, are great, but also turn signals. Those were added as well. You wouldn't have had those in 1939. Uh, electric fuel pump as well, and you'll hear that when we get ready to start it. So that's a nice upgrade. All the chrome and bright work is nice. Little dual exhaust. Very clean underneath. Uh, Smitty style mufflers, which are an old school, uh, similar to a glass pack muffler. Your chain guards. Keep it from uh, smacking the tailgate. Little V8 call out on your fuel cap. Let me take a moment to tell you a little bit about the website, westcoastcollectorcars.com, where I've got pictures and a text out of the truck. It'll hit the bullet points and perhaps uh, mention a few things that I neglect to mention here because I'm not thinking of it, but uh, uh, there's pictures of the undercarriage. That's important. You want to see that. 
and you can, there's some photos there of uh, the process of the restoration so that you can tell that it was indeed a frame off. They did a fantastic job on it. If you're looking for a vintage truck, and you know, and, and particularly uh, one that's kind of rare, this is a prime example of that. Uh, all the glass is nice. Again, all the metal, everything beautiful in the truck. Let me take you in the interior on this side. Of course, all the weather stripping was replaced, as well as the whiskers. Here, let me show you. You know, windows roll up and down nice and easy. All your felts and so forth are excellent. This little indentation you see here, this is a pull, so when you got in the truck, you pull here rather than grab it here or grab the handle. All the original gauges work. All the lights work. Again, turn signals. Nice blasting horn. Uh, the, got a single windshield wiper and it works as well. It's electric. Brakes work excellent. Now this is the first year, 1939 was the first year for a Ford, uh, same with the cars that had hydraulic brakes. So this does have hydraulic brakes. Uh, also, the last year, 1939 was the last year for the uh, shifter on the floor after that they went to the three on the tree so kind of a first and a last this is your vent right here and it does work uh, with a pull on the inside so they left that up front here you got your turn signals you wouldn't have had these in 1939 but in today's world it's kind of nice to have that you don't have to stick your arm out the window to let somebody know you're turning so how do you get under the hood? Well, you got the hood ornament here. You just turn it like this and then lift the hood. I'll show you the little clean little 221 V8 flathead. That's your 12 volt battery. Alternator instead of a generator. Does have electronic ignition. That's another nice upgrade. This is your voltage regulator here. Steers really easy, brakes really easy, brakes nice and true. Uh, you know, you're going down the road and you hit the brakes, it's not going to jolt you off into the ditch or something. They're very nice and smooth, work really good. Uh, yeah, again, you know, all the chrome, all your hardware and everything, very nice. Truck is beautifully restored. So what I'd like to do now is I'll hop in the truck, I'll just take it for a little spin around the parking lot so you can see it move and you can hear it run and so forth under its own power. But uh, yeah, if you're considering something like this, man, it just doesn't get a whole lot better. This is a beautiful little truck.
Man, it's a nice running truck. You can just drive in this thing all day. It's very easy to drive as well. Uh, very smooth, it's comfortable. The seat's nice and comfortable. Uh, got nice visors up here as well. All the trim and bright work is nice in the cab as well. Uh, you got all your controls, easy to get to. Uh, there's that little vent that we talked about. Man, I love this thing. This is a great truck. But you know, if I can answer any further questions for you about this 1939 Ford half ton pickup, don't hesitate to give me a call. Again, my name is Rich Dean, and this is West Coast Collector Cars. My number is 503 851 6763. And thank you for watching today.